Imagine a star bursting into a spectacular explosion that lights up the night sky. Sounds incredible, right? Well, get excited because this isn't just a dream. A star in the constellation of Corona Borealis is set to explode in what we call a nova event, and you won't believe how amazing it's going to be. This rare and breathtaking cosmic show will be visible to the naked eye and promises to be one of the most jaw-dropping celestial events in years. And the stage for this spectacular show? The constellation of Corona Borealis, home to an extraordinary star system known as T. Coronae Borealis. Because this is a once-in-a-lifetime event you won't want to miss. So, what exactly is a nova event? Let me break it down for you. A nova happens when a white dwarf star in a binary system undergoes a massive thermonuclear explosion. In the case of T. Coronae Borealis, this binary system consists of a small white dwarf and a big red giant star. Here's where it gets interesting. The red giant star transfers mass to the white dwarf, and this mass is mainly composed of hydrogen. Now, hydrogen is a very volatile element. When it gets hot enough, it starts to create nuclear fusion, turning hydrogen into helium. This process releases a massive amount of energy, causing the outer layers of hydrogen to be ejected at incredible speeds. Ranging from a few hundred to a few thousand kilometers per second, this sudden ejection leads to a dramatic increase in the system's brightness, creating the spectacular nova event that we can see from Earth. But how do we know TCRB is going to explode soon? Well, T. Coronae Borealis is known as a recurrent nova. This means it explodes regularly, roughly every 80 years. The last recorded explosion was in 1946, so it's due for another one soon. Astronomers have also noticed a pattern. One year before the explosion, the star's brightness dims. This dimming was observed around 1945, just before the last explosion, and it has been observed again recently. This suggests that another explosion is imminent, possibly between now and September. Let's dive a bit deeper into the science behind it. These recurrent novae have explosions that are fairly predictable because the rate at which the red giant transfers mass to the white dwarf remains relatively constant. After each nova explosion, a lot of material is ejected, but the red giant starts to transfer matter again at approximately the same rate. This means the time needed to accumulate enough hydrogen for the next explosion is also fairly consistent. To give you an idea of what to expect, during the last explosion in 1946, the blaze star became significantly brighter, enough to be seen with the naked eye. It remained visible for a few days before gradually fading. This upcoming event is expected to be similar, so you'll want to keep your eyes on the skies. Now, let's talk about how you can spot this incredible event. The Blaze Star, as TCRB is also known, is located in the constellation of Corona Borealis. This constellation will be visible in the evening sky from the Northern Hemisphere until late November or early December. If you're located in the Northern Hemisphere, look towards the West every couple of weeks until December to find Corona Borealis. For those closer to the equator, the view will shift towards the Northwest rather than the West. As the weeks pass, the blaze star will be lower in the sky at dusk and will set earlier in the evening. If the nova occurs over the next couple of months, it should be visible until at least midnight from most of the Northern Hemisphere. If it happens before mid-November, you'll have a few hours after dark to catch a glimpse. The nova should be visible in the early evening sky looking northwest if it occurs before late October, such as in Singapore. However, it will become increasingly difficult to see from more southern latitudes. For example, in Auckland, New Zealand, the nova will probably only be visible if it happens before early October, just after sunset in the northwest. From October onwards, in New Zealand, the constellation of Corona Borealis will be in the daytime sky, making it impossible to see the stars. 
to make sure you don't miss this spectacular event, it's a good idea to familiarize yourself with the constellation of Corona Borealis. Usually, the blaze star is much fainter than what can be seen with the naked eye. However, during the Nova eruption, it may be visible for a few days before it starts to fade again over the next few weeks. This is a fantastic opportunity to get to know this part of the sky, so you can easily locate the blaze star when the Nova occurs. Now let's get a bit technical for those who love the details. The process leading to a nova involves the accretion of hydrogen onto the white dwarf's surface. As this hydrogen layer grows thicker, the pressure and temperature increase until nuclear fusion ignites in a runaway process. This fusion converts hydrogen into helium in a matter of seconds, releasing an enormous amount of energy and causing the outer layers to be blasted into space. This explosion can increase the star's brightness by thousands of times, making a previously faint star visible to the naked eye. What's truly fascinating is how these recurrent novi-like TCRB are studied. Astronomers use a combination of historical data, modern observations, and computer models to predict these explosions. By analyzing the light curves, graphs that show the brightness of the star over time, they can identify patterns and make predictions about future events. The recent dimming observed in TCRB is a strong indicator that an explosion is imminent. Here at the Astrophysics Group at the University of Exeter, we're beyond excited to witness T. Corona Borealis ourselves. We may even get the chance to observe it through our telescopes, and we promise to keep you updated every step of the way. Imagine being able to say you saw a nova with your own eyes. So, mark your calendars, keep looking up, and stay tuned to our channel for the latest updates on this thrilling astronomical event. Whether it happens tomorrow, next week, or even sometime next year, one thing's for sure, you won't want to miss this spectacular cosmic display. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.